Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to this video. So in our last video, what we have done, we have set up the conditional access for one of our users to our Azure Active Directory tenant. <clears throat> and what we did, we enabled multi-factor authentication for the user when they are accessing the Azure portal. So there are many ways you can uh, turn on your uh, multi-factor authentication so let's uh, review it real quick so you can do uh, MFA and you go to the multi-factor authentication blade from this blade you can configure the cloud-based MFA setting you can go there and uh, click on users and uh, you can enable and you can see the right now I have only one person where I have the multi-factor authentication enabled so this particular user, what we did, we did not enable the multi-factor authentication globally. What we did, we said, okay, this user, if he's coming, if he's logging in anywhere else other than the Microsoft Azure, he can log in without MFA. But if he is accessing Microsoft Azure resources, then this guy has to use a multi-factor authentication. Now, just to prove that, let's come over here. That's the person. And if I put the password, hope I remember, then this is the additional page because I'm trying to access the Microsoft Azure account. And right, here we are. So although I do not have the multi-factor authentication enabled for this particular user, you, you can see that uh, Azure is still asking for multi-factor authentication for this user because I have a conditional policy enabled. Now from over here, uh, what you can do, we can go to uh, conditional access, conditional access and uh, we can see what kind of policy we already have. So you can see I have a whole bunch of policies but uh, I have turned it off. Uh, there's only one policy that is turned on. And that is MFA for add user as your two, as add user two for add user. So I have defined this policy that is only applicable for that particular user, a specific user included. So if you click on that one, you should see that I have only one user right there. So for that person, I have enabled that uh, uh, policy. And for cloud apps, um, I said uh, use the only multi-factor authentication for the Microsoft Azure management. And for conditions, we didn't really do anything. But if you review this, if we want, we can conditions, we can determine what to do if, if that person uh, log in, sign in, is a high risk sign in determined by Azure. Uh, the device platform may be unknown, location is maybe unknown, and there are two other that you can also define. One is client app, another is device state. Now, one thing a lot of client they want here, okay, if this person is coming from a trusted location or trusted subnet, I don't need to define any uh, MFA. So let's uh, try to do one thing. See, uh, let's see, if, do a if config. Let's see if I can get my IP address that uh, that I have. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that. So that's my IP. So let's put that IP as one of the trusted locations in Azure. Uh, so now, how do you do that? So you go back to the conditional access policy. If you go there, under manage, you can manage the name locations, custom controls, VPN connectivity, classic policies. So name location is where you want to go. And let's add a new location. And say, you can say safe location, you know, office or home or whatever. So IP range is where, and you can also mark this as a trusted location. Uh, that's my IP range. So let's uh, put, say 24, that's the IP range. Uh, and then I can say, all right, create this rule. So now, I, now this one, I have already said that it's trusted. So now I can go back to uh, our policies 
go back to this policy and as we said we can go back to um, conditions and for locations now we can do something it's asking do you want to configure the location let's do yes uh, all trusted location you can do that or what you can do uh, you can select you know uh, safe location office okay then select that location if I select this one so what it's oh, that says include don't include I don't want to include let me think control user access based on physical locations so if I include this then it will still ask so what I really want I want to exclude it selected locations so let's do that exclude all the trusted location so this one I'm just not gonna uh, 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 configure anything from exclusion list all trusted location I'm gonna exclude it so let's try this one out so if I save this one okay now save this policy now this policy uh, should be applied should request MFA if the user is not coming from trusted location so right here on that same user so if I go back to uh, portal.azure.com again and uh, let's do next it's still so maybe I need to get rid of it completely and open a brand new um, private window can I open a new okay so let me try portal.azure.com it may take a little bit of time it still has this information about my uh, account so let's just completely get rid of this this one this window okay close close then from here try to open a brand new one what I'll do how is it remembering this Okay, let's just uh, get um, get our Google Google Chromium. We really want to make sure if this policy is working, or if we want to tweak our policy some. So I want to make sure that you know I'm doing everything I can to prove the policy is actually working. Okay, so portal dot azure dot com. All right, here this browser doesn't remember anything so what we expect uh, let's see uh, and I'm gonna try to log in okay so this is still asking me for more information so one thing could happen like I'm trying to use my IP and when it when Microsoft is seeing it they may not see it as that uh, trusted IP so what I'll do in that case so we'll do some more testing but just to be sure what I'll do we'll go back to Azure okay we'll go back to Azure and uh, we have a VM that we started the Azure VM uh, let's see if it's running or not is it running yeah it's running so we can connect to this VM and I have a public IP and we will add this public IP as well in my uh, in my policy okay so let's put that policy uh, we put that ID in here I have Remnia already in here so let's try to connect it I hope I remember the password don't think I need is I forgot the password for this user uh, one more time They put the user to write down. I did not write down. Mm. 
Mm -mm. All right, so this one, let me try out. Let, let's just go back over here. And we need to figure out how to get into this uh, machine uh, because I just completely forgot uh, the password that we created for this one. All right, let's go back uh, over here um, where we were. We were under conditional access policy. And what we were doing, we were over here and we went to the conditions. We went to local. So any locations and exclude all trusted location and uh, let's add this one to just just to see if that helps okay and uh, what do we need I think we're good here, we're good here. Uh, grant selected, so grant access, report multi-factor authentication. And we're excluding that. So I feel like we are, we are doing this policy just fine, uh, but it's not, not taking in place for some reason. Uh, so let's uh, get rid of it to new private window let's try to do uh, as you do portal.com one last time if it's not here we'll just do it in another video and, and fix it so it still is not taking uh, the IP as uh, as a trusted location okay so let's let's do let me do some more investigation on that why it's not working and let me restart my VM and get a get another VM so that I can log in, and uh, maybe try to log in from from that VM to test. Sometimes when you when you when you're at home, you may have problem with the IP address that you are seeing here, uh, because that IP address IP address could be shared by many other people. All right, with with that, this concludes the video for conditional access, how you can define locations that you can say, yeah, this is my trusted location. And if everything goes well and you're not stuck, just like me, you should be able to connect without any multi-factor authentication for a particular user. All right, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope it helps.